Yes, 
ಪುಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕಾಮೇಶ್ವರ್ ಅವರು ಚೆನ್ನಕುಲ ಕಾಮೇಶ್ವರ್ ಅವರು ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ವೈಲಮಾರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸರ್ ಕೋ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟರ್ ಇನಾಮ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಓಡಿ ಸರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬಿಜಿ ಅದರ್ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಕಮಿಟಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಎಐಸಿಟಿ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಂ ಆನ್ ಸಿಮ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೇ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಿ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅಟೆಂಡೀಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅವರ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೀಲ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಿ ಎಚ್ ಕಾಮೇಶ್ವರ್ ಅವರು ಬಿಟ್ಟೆಯನ್ನು ಬೀಸಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎಂಡಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಂಡೇಟರಿ ಸೆಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಬಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕೀ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೀ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಅಗೋಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಟಿ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ is drafted and that is what actually recent past we are following that policy 1985 something like that uh, currently if I am wrong and uh, so 2020 major uh, taking in view the development trends and uh, the developments or economical developments or uh, uh, whatever the cultures different cultures like startup culture or digital India culture so all these okay keeping in view Okay, so it is uh, our government of India has proposed to be uh, drafted this national education policy in 2019 and uh, uh, kept in the portals and uh, uh, disseminated among all the stakeholders, taking feedbacks and all. After taking all the, ex- after doing all the exercises and taking the feedback, inputs, etc. So, uh, almost last year, uh, the 2020, August was somewhere around. So, this was uh, announced the national education policy. Uh, is uh, what's called came into picture, uh, came into our uh, okay, existence, something like that. So that means officially. So, so National Education Policy 2020, there are major uh, changes in the education system. Uh, in, okay, so that is what actually incorporating or uh, so initiating all this uh, uh, drive towards innovation, uh, entrepreneurship, startup culture, research culture, Uh, from the school itself, from the lower education, that is primary education itself. So that's what actually Saar is going to talk on this, uh, day six and uh, session one. And then followed by session two on research methodology by Dr. Kajar Adhata, Professor in Vitalik Engineering Department, MESR Engineering College. Fortunately, uh, both of them are today Mechanic Engineering uh, Professors. Uh, Saar is also a Professor in Mechanic Engineering Department. Uh, post uh, is a retirement of uh, uh, PHL R&D uh, position. And uh, uh, that's what welcome you all once again. And I take uh, okay, this opportunity to introduce to my guru, one of my uh, 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 that, uh, favorite guru actually. We, I used to talk with him like anything, like, uh, like a sale sometimes, like a grandson sometimes, like a son sometimes, like a father sometimes. I used to talk with him, uh, Dr. Kamathra, uh, because uh, yeah, I like him really uh, from the day one, from the day one. Because when he entered into Simla Engineering College on the day one, so myself is actually attending the Department of Tricky and uh, uh, we have seen a couple of principles uh, prior to Dr. Kamathra uh, in our Simla Engineering College during uh, 2007 to 10. But I think Sara joined in 2009. So I joined in 2007, uh, 2006 December itself in uh, Simla Engineering College as uh, Associate Professor. Later I was elevated to Professor and uh, head of the department in 2008 itself. And Sara joined uh, Simla Engineering College in 2009, uh, still I remember. Uh, during that time, actually, I am uh, almost uh, preparing my research articles, papers. And let me share this experience, this association, then I will introduce what is our and all. So, because I am, I am always happy to be associated with him uh, as a uh, like guide and as a uh, mentor, as a philosopher. Even uh, my, uh, our uh, patents and all, so far as possible. So, uh, 
So, uh, versatile, uh, actually, uh, versatile profile, or I've got versatile profile, like the poet, they used to write, uh, okay, uh, poems in Telugu, Sumarathri, <laughs> still I remember your uh, Sumarathri, yes, sir, and all. And uh, Sar used to guide uh, towards patent, actually patent, not only patent agent. Uh, Sar used to guide uh, uh, how to find the patent. Actually, in fact, I learned the uh, very first or uh, the, the beginning, uh, the beginning steps uh, from uh, Dr. Pavel Travel uh, by uh, Sar. And uh, so, actually, he used to talk on vibrations, he used to talk on various engineering courses various engineering subjects like uh, at the time Sar used to talk about uh, all this uh, artificial intelligence and all. And uh, at the time when just uh, uh, writing the research articles, he has guided me, don't go for uh, uh, like uh, uh, the ordinary journals or uh, paid journals, something like that, you better avoid and you go for uh, reputed and peer uh, journal, reviewed journals, indexed journals. That's what first I learned uh, from our uh, Guru sir. Uh, uh, like he is at the time he entered as a principal, and uh, some uh, situations that also came to our uncle or something like that at the time. But still, he used to start tackling those type of uncle. Very cool, it's a very, very cool mind. <laughs> Actually, I used to uh, be aggressive kind of thing. And star, uh, why Ramana, why we have to, okay. Uh, uh, Get people to cover all these things. You can tackle all these things. Whatever issues come in, they can tackle, of course, with our emotional intelligence. Sam used to talk about emotional intelligence and IQ, EQ, and SQ. Sam used to talk at the time itself in 2009 10. That's what I said. We used to hear first time all these words, even patients also. First time I had from you, uh, sir. Uh, really, I am very fortunate to be associated with you during that time and continuing my journey with you, sir, wherever you are. And really, uh, Sar used to guide many people. Sar has uh, guided, uh, of course, his PhD scholars and all. He is still guiding. And uh, even our Murli Mohan Rao, sir, that is uh, actually professor in our mechanical engineering department, is one of his colleagues that he used to say, about Sar also. Uh, whenever we meet, usually we talk about you, sir. Uh, we remember it, sir. That's what the, our association, we remember uh, the Parliament Raja and Maishan. And uh, so coming to his uh, background, Sar's background, uh, Sar has um, completed PhD uh, way back, so very long, long back, uh, long ago, uh, from Andhra University, sir. Uh, you are from Andhra University in vibration uh, and all this and all, that's what I remember. And the Sar has traveled the PHL R&D and even uh, during his uh, stay with PHL R&D, uh, Sar has uh, uh, obtained two, uh, two patients, I think, for uh, PHL R&D. And five, and whichever five, effort. Five, 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 five. Whichever efforts only, that's what I think. Whichever uh, sole efforts, uh, with Sar's sole efforts, Sar has got uh, five patients uh, uh, granted for the PHL R&D. Like that, Actually, SAR has worked towards uh, uh, excellence and uh, towards bring the excellent culture about the day uh, in BHL R&D that is staff members and all. Yeah. And uh, moreover, he is uh, very man-kind. Uh, like uh, whenever the problem comes, he is to okay, support, uh, he is to uh, uh, what you call encourage, he encourage the people uh, whoever associated very closely with him or uh, even non-association also, like what of the students we have come across, okay, different problems he used to. Uh, so we remember, I think we have conducted even anti-ragging uh, programs, sir. Uh, social level mm -hmm. activity and uh, really at that time also you are very active and you have guided us, you have guided all of us, okay, to drive towards uh, ragging free campus, uh, that is civil engineering college. So, to, uh, okay, like that, actually, we can name so many uh, achievements, SARS achievements. The unfortunate thing is, uh, during COVID time, uh, SARS wife uh, uh, affected, and uh, uh, of course, that can be, I think, SARS might have struggled a uh, lot, okay, to bring her into again. Uh, that's what actually, sir, uh, the spirit, to, I got it like uh, you can fight, we can fight, okay. Whatever the situation, even situation is not powerful. 
we can fight and we can pray the god and the bring back uh, the situation what we like that's what uh, i understood all of us uh, see all of you by their participants for our uh, just take uh, i am telling you that tom spent almost 80 lakhs towards the uh, the territory of uh, madam sahab's wife uh, uh, really fortunate sir uh, to have you uh, on this platform what an activity uh, i welcome you sir to take this session on uh, uh the national education policy the gifts the features and the importance the significance so thank you sir for uh, uh, being with us today uh, in spite of our busy schedule or uh, taking care of our madam and our madam i hope uh, madam is uh, fine sir definitely with our presence and with our uh, uh, this one like carbon ship something like that madam is enjoying it. welcome sir So, uh, see, one uh, good evening to all of you. And uh, see, the Amara is so kind to say so many things about me. I'm very excited. Um, very, very <coughs> thankful to Amara Guru. <coughs> see, all that I did is because of you know enjoyed. I enjoyed doing all those things. I never struggled or suffered. It's a very natural process and. Uh, Uh, what was uh, the achievement I did is all because of God. Without God, nothing is possible. One one statement I would like to make, if you don't mistake me, we are all programmed. Even the quantum mechanics and quantum physics today, they have come to a conclusion that whatever you are seeing, we know in 2020, to a Nobel Prize went to three people who have declared. that whatever we see in the universe is unreal unreal that means dal vidya is a drama so this is really strongly and whatever is going on whatever is coming to us plus or minus we should be capable of inviting it and right this god will give you the strength if you believe him if you don't believe him he will not uh, he will be an observer and he will not be in a position to help you also because you are not asking for it so in my case particularly when my wife is in the hospital um, the suffering i went through but i never felt about it i did it as a uh, my duty in that you see over 45 to 50 years of time she has served me I did it on my responsibility to survive that, so I did it as a, a, a duty, not only duty. I love her; a lot of affection is there. So all that struggle is uh, ultimately because of God's grace, which has become successful, and she is back to normal now. She is sitting at home. Everything she is doing is perfectly now, all because of God's grace. But one thing, for all of you, don't think I am a mad believer. I believe because science is also ultimately computer. So we have to see it. They are all problems. We ultimately agree with that. Every minute, even this lecture, even this lecture, you are you are sitting there and listening. All these are problems already. So don't think that you have a role to play in changing it. You may try, you may try, but many times you may be successful or you may be failure. But don't think. Uh, but just believe that it is all because of God's grace. We go ahead continuously, and until the end, you know, even the, you know, one thing I would like to share with you, even something we say is a power. Why? Because the body is not ours. This body is given to us by God, and this body is a naturally born, brought up from. This was this was by His own. Just a Everything is done. Where is the battery? The battery is nothing but the soul. Without soul, there is nothing else to it. Is the soul sitting somewhere? Or it is there? It is a shadow, uh, and it is in front or back, depending upon you believe in it. If you believe in soul, it is in the front and lead you. If you don't believe in the soul, it is the back side and obstructs. Whatever happens, it is only obstructs. So here, with these few words. I would like to move uh, to our, uh, our topic for today: new education policy. 
which is announced in 2020 and some improvements are made in 2022. So the subject is a very, very interesting subject. I think uh, all share our PPT sir. Share our PPT sir. Yes. Uh, the share uh, one minute. First to open the PPT window sir, then here uh, come to the channel and share that. <coughs> Share. Yeah. Yeah. Come in, come in. You are. Come to channel and share, sir. Share screen. First oh, to open okay. the PPT window. Yeah, come back to channel. Telegram. And uh -huh. share. 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 Yes, sir. Icon, share icon, Le bottom left text screen. This one? This one, huh? When you click this screen, Hello. the screen is here. Hello? Hello? One arrow mark is there, sir. Bottom. In the menu box. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Screen, uh, screen share icon, click it and share the screen whatever it is open window. That window you have to select, sir. Have you opened the PPT window, sir? PPT is open? Okay, sir. PPT is open. Then come back to Telegram channel. Click the arrow, bottom arrow. This is the Telegram channel. Uh, yeah, Telegram platform, uh, arrow mark will be there, sir, left extreme. Bottom side, left extreme. This one? Uh, click it, sir, click it. Mm -hmm. Window, your computer window will be open and you have to share that PPT window. Oh, PPT window. Mm -hmm. uh, you have selected that PPT window. You have done it sir, last time, uh, a couple of minutes back. Uh, I went to slide show on. Is that the case come now? Not come? No sir. No sir. No sir. No sir. Uh, uh, did you click the this one, sir? Arrow may click the arrow, sir. Arrow, I got a telegram channel. I arrow click the arrow. Yes, sir. Yes, number. I got a window to open it, sir. Me desktop window, sir. Open it. Open it. Now, PPT window select the arrow, sir. Select the arrow, share and button. Share icon button. Share button is click the answer. PPT ni select the answer. PPT window ni select the answer. Share button click the answer. Okay. Intermu chase the answer. Okay. Couple of minutes back we did it. Sir, you are ready? Sir, you are ready. 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 PPT will open your function, sir. Okay, sir.
పీపీడీ లో ఓపెన్ చేశారా సార్ మళ్ళీ ఇప్పుడు టెలిగ్రామ్ ఛానల్ రండి సార్ ఆ పీపీడీ క్లోజ్ చేయొద్దు అలా ఉంచండి టెలిగ్రామ్ ఛానల్ విండో ఓపెన్ చేసి బాటమ్ లో లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ యారో మార్క్ ఉంది సార్ అది క్లిక్ చేయండి చేశారా సార్ షేర్ స్క్రీన్ దాన్ని క్లిక్ చేయండి సార్ క్లిక్ చేస్తే పీపీటీ విండో సెలెక్ట్ చేయండి సార్ పీపీటీ విండో సెలెక్ట్ చేయండి సార్ మీకు అక్కడ విండోస్ ఓపెన్ అవుతాయి షేర్ స్క్రీన్ అనగానే డిఫరెంట్ విండోస్ కనిపిస్తాయి పీపీటీ విండో సెలెక్ట్ చేసి షేర్ బటన్ క్లిక్ చేయాలి లాస్ట్ టైం చేశారు సార్ మీరు అంటే కప్పుల మినిట్స్ బ్యాక్ ప్రొసీజండి ఈ వచ్చే ఫోల్డర్ ఓపెన్ అయింది సార్ ఫోల్డర్ ఓపెన్ అయింది పీపీటీ ఓపెన్ కాదు పీపీటీ విండో ఓపెన్ చేయలేదు సార్ పీపీటీ విండో షేర్ అవసరం సార్ వేరే విండో షేర్ అవసరం టాప్ చేసి మళ్ళీ పీపీటీ విండో షేర్ చేయండి లేకపోతే ఇక్కడ ఈ విండోలో క్లిక్ చేయండి సార్ అది నేషనల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ పాలసీ అక్కడ ఇప్పుడు మీరు ఓపెన్ మీరు మాకు షేర్ చేస్తున్నారు ఒకటి మీ డెస్క్ టాప్ షేర్ చేస్తున్నారు అక్కడ పీపీటీ ఉంటే క్లిక్ చేయండి సార్ ఆ పేజ్ లో బ్యాకప్ ట్రీ డ్రైవ్ లో న్యూ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ పాలసీ మీ ఫోటో ఉంది సార్ పనిచేద్దాం ఈ నేను ఫ్లైట్ చూస్తూ చెప్పేస్తాను లేదండి ఇది అనేక లేదు ఓకే సార్ ఓకే సార్ ఓకే ఓకే
So now I will uh, start presenting. See, the thing is, mainly the entire exercise in some of the new education policy is because of the complete failure of the early education policy. If you people don't mistake me, so far employability, new concept has been brought into the our discussions. Employability is low, employability is low. This is a slogan which we have heard a number of times. Why the employability has come down? Because students are being favored by the state government, politicians, and everybody is thinking that by favoring a kid in getting a certificate, a degree, they will, they will be doing a good job in getting a job and they will go survive and life goes on. This is all the entire politicians institute. And uh, I don't want to blame any one politician. The entire all politicians only try to uh, help the student in getting a degree, but not about the quality. All the teachers also in private uh, schools and colleges, you know, are not qualified. Some are not even teachers. They read the book in the class itself, putting it on the table. And so what happens slowly, the education became purely commercial, money-minded. Then one stage at which the fees is paid by the student, that's enough. There is no need by him to even come to the college. There are so many colleges where administration used to advise the socials to just give attendance and also give as many marks as possible after the civic service is done the law. So on this, they thought that it will be a very helpful one. The 30 mark fellow is added with 40 marks in the name of moderation and uh, 70 marks are shown in the marks list. Slowly, uh, even the company, big companies who are uh, actually recruiting people, they have come to know of this uh, game. So, slowly this business became worse and worse and worse. And all in one day is shown up. The all in one day comes just 20 days before the elections. And from there, Staff members who are teaching various subjects will be requested by the students to at least pick some 20, 20 or 25 percent so that they will buy heart and sit on the sheet of it. So, rote learning, we say, is a very well known word. You can Google and see. Rote learning means very rough type of learning. Memorization only is there. No understand. It's something like uh, swallowing rather than uh, chewing, chewing and eating the food. If you swallow, you don't get digestive problems. You will face a lot of digestion problems. Same is true with the uh, education also. Learning is to be, uh, churning, churning should be there for my learning. You should be repeatedly thinking about it, moving over it. You call meditation, meditating over it and then then the memory memory. After you after you know about it, the memory memorization will be very high. But simple memorization, which was encouraged by even staff members in school, high school to colleges, and even in engineering colleges, all this has brought down the so called empire. Even the sixty class students. They don't know how to read a book of third class. This has been told a number of times, but there is no, no attempt to read. There is no attempt to, you know, bring it uh, down. So, what happened ultimately last year, I think, 
from lots of people are four lakh Indian students they want to be here. And that degree is not getting any job because the degree when he goes to the and he applies and goes to the interview. Actually the recruiters will ask you some questions. When this fellow simply uh, says, I don't know, I don't know, and cannot even answer a simple question because it's only mother, but not digest. They're not part into the flat. So this is how the whole education system is in the Marchi, Abdi, and uh, the cross down to the case. Degrees are coming. What is the use of the degree? So, this is where we will observe the people, but uh, nobody could do anything. The private colleges have also made a lot of money. They never bothered about quality. They also, even when recruiting staff members also, they have brought down the quality of the day. Anybody who comes at a lower rate, okay? And uh, whether there is a quality education or not, no one bothers. When we make money, this is not only, of course, in education, it is there all over the world, make money at any cost. In any particular, anyway, don't bother about ethics and morals, all are gone to cops. Just do, do your business, get money by hook or hook. This is, of course, the entire philosophy which is ruling the roots in the whole world, not only in our place, in India. But, all that, uh, you know, we don't have a problem only in terms of money, we are progressing, but in terms of salary, we are progressing, but in terms of knowledge, accumulation, and creative capabilities, all are being, you know, brought down. So, having recognized with this, the ISRO chief, earlier in this subject, has uh, spent a lot of time in uh, collecting material, about this, this thing, and then they have proposed a new education policy. So, in this new education policy, the structures are changed. Not only that, the you know, overall, because it is implemented effectively, without political intervention, without commercial intervention, this is a very good one which you will appreciate at the end of it. So, I will enter into their subject. So, just have a look at the this is in the slide I can see in the previous academic structure we have so called 10 plus 2 2 from 16 to from 6 to 16 I think age 6 to 16 until age 6 there is no, no mention 1 to 5 is not mentioned age 1 to 5 is not mentioned in the earlier academic structure so the 10 years is from age 6 to 16, 10 years period of that, that is one stage of the 10th class. You know, 10th class exams are there. So, 10th class exams decide whether we should go to the next step or not. Uh, so, 10, 6 to 16 years of age, then get into the uh, intermediate uh, education of 2 years, which is 16 to 20. So this is how 10 plus 2 we call it. So we say 10 plus 2. So there is no mention of play school, from 3 of 3, age 3 completed. He will be, he or she will be admitted to a play school. So the new change is a play school one also is included now. In the new uh, structure, we have got uh, 3 years Anganwadi preschool, the age is 3 to 6. So, 3 to 6 also is going to be monitored by the, the education board. Till 3 years of age 3 to 6. And then 2 years of class 1 and class 2. That is age 6 to 8. So, 3 plus 2 is added to whatever we have. And what is done is, then comes the uh, preparatory one, which is uh, P plus 2 is called the foundational structure. Then, after this 5 is over, 5 plus 3, 
that we allow the students to just sit and learn, is it? And uh, while you are teaching on the board, they will be talking to each other. Group of discussions will be there and you will be difficult for you to stop them doing it because if you shout at them, the director will call you and say, eh, don't shout like that. Be nice to people because they are paying a lot of money as uh, thieves. So this is how the entire thing is no control, no uh, worry about quality of education. You somehow do the business and get money. That should, that should go on. See, BP and tension is quality to a great extent. But if it's good process and you, you don't do nothing and last minute only you try to start reading and, and doing something, the tension will be there. The practice of doing everything at the end, we should be stopped. But not because of, you know, year end at the end, there, in the middle, middle there are no intermediate exams. Even the midterm exams are having only less marks. Midterm exams, we use midterm exams for the midterm exams are all valid. Because there is no external agency which will be monitoring. So only 20 marks or 25 marks. Or 25 marks, only 500 exams. Why should you do that? Why should you not distribute the old? whole thing throughout the semester. Let him earn marks to 10 or 15 marks in the first year part of the semester. Second part, third part, fourth part, he made four parts. Let him get the total marks in the fourth part, separately. We didn't do that. We took up every damn thing, 75 marks in the end of the exam, and all in one guys, all sorts of work, corruption. Just look back, look back. Just I think what, what would be the wrong thing? They don't write notes. No, in fact, let us be very clear. Writing notes is something like linking the finger with the mind. Unless and until you write a note of your own by listening to the teacher, there, there will be no link between listening, writing, and the mind. Only ears will be listening, left side. That's clear, you listen, and right hand you read. Nothing stays in the mind. That is why earlier days we used to have a practice of writing notes. We stop it. We encourage the students not to do that also. And directors and all that bother about the students' health rather than the quality of education or the teachers who have said some teachers are removed because they are the ability to stop with students. So, and see, when it becomes a business, very close to constitution, nothing can be done, all will be found come to. That is what happens now. If I say, uh, seriously, you may, you may get hurt. But truth is that. We are almost come to a stage where, and we don't bother what, to, what we are doing. We only got one money. What money? We come and go. It is not saying. There is a saying. This Lakshmi is something like a parrot which sits on your shoulder as long as it wants to and suddenly loses it. So money will come and go. But this money, a very damn thing is shattered. All good and bad is being shattered. You know, uh, there is no no, ethics and morals, no. And shameless way of life is being ended. Freedom, all freedom, what is freedom for what? Freedom for the disaster, disaster situation. So, the new pedagogy is only to restructure the whole thing in such a way that the any impediments are being successful. Now you see, while we are doing this education, there is no limit on number of years of education. Suppose, after the, you are, you are having exam now at uh, various places, but you close the semester, if it is a semester system, close the semester you have got exams intermediate. And whatever mark you have got, it will be in steps and not at one point. So, the, particularly the, the past 11, uh, 68, 678, and also 
class 9, 10, 11, 12. These will be semester systems, particularly the intermediate and uh, also degree. These two are structurally low, they, they are not just full one year. The six to particularly the three years of Buddhism, it will be semester system. So, whereas earlier it used to be only at the end of the year. So, what happens in the semester system and cut into three parts or four parts. So that is a constant uh, education and even marks. These marks will be added. Not, uh, not having a final exam and uh, every time thing goes there. No guides have to be actually used or benefited. Then it will only help you at the end if you want any clarification. But if guides are the only dividing things and you don't depend on even textbook, they don't even read textbook. And is there English education? Many times in engineering I have found that nobody looks at the textbook. Only guys, all in one guys, that is a disastrous thing which is allowed. For quite some time in every day, there used to be some control on those guys. They used to take away all those guys who were there in the shop. The government used to do something like that. But later on, they used to give money. So, whoever gives money, they thought that it's a whole system. At least now I am telling you, unless and until the students uh, choose and swear off. Chewing should be there, then the swear off. Here also, reading should be there. They, they should continuously read and then uh, memorize. Not just to memorize only, not reading because that will not teach you something like uh, swallowing uh, uh, food uh, without uh, chewing. You know, larger if it is not added to the food, it won't get digested. So very simple fact which everybody knows. But where is this larger in the case of their education? All the fellows will be reasoning, no writing notes. At the end of the uh, day, the uh, exam will be there. In that exam, again, all got up and read the exam. And you are all also staff is also advised to add any more. See, even the blank paper, you make some some marks given there. You are gone up to that extent. And if he, if he doesn't write even two pages, three pages, he will at least 25, 30 marks. What do you have it? So, if you just go back and see, we all just made it. Uh, uh, so, agree because of our three degrees for money. What is money do if you don't have quality education? Students who come out of do not be higher quality. Whatever job they do. You know, one thing recently we only had uh, a week back, the Microsoft uh, chief has, has, uh, has come out with a statement that about 68% of all the staff members who are there in big companies like Google and Amazon and so on, they are all useless staff. They are very inefficient. So that is the reason why now in the name of, uh, uh, because of COVID, a lot of loss is there. And tomorrow we don't know what type of uh, another disease will come. So the entire economy is at stake. So they don't want to take any risk. So to avoid this, they are, what, are, what they are doing is they are laying off as many people as possible. Three and a half lakh people are removed from IT companies in Hyderabad itself when I was there. What they did? They have sold off their properties in, the, in Hyderabad and went to their own native places, bought some land and they were stealing them. So very bad situations are are going to come, we don't know. In fact, uh, COVID, they would have expected such a disaster will be there. Two and a half years were all put behind, behind the street. We are all waiting to live a life of loneliness, complete loneliness. That's the reason why we initially we were very unhappy. Slowly we entered to ourselves to loneliness. So today we enjoy loneliness. We don't want to talk to anybody, we don't want to. Well, uh, to somebody more than 15 minutes, 10 minutes, very 
you know, big amount of impressions is there in all of us, including me. If I have any interest in relating to somebody is gone. Reading something is gone. I don't know, somehow even TV channels, repeatedly comes same, same movie, same uh, serial, again, TV, like it's becoming false. In this life, it's about, we believe that God has given this body and we have no right to kill it. No, Atmanatya, Atmanatya is Mahapa, because we are trying to kill it. Somebody is God's property. So, loneliness we are enjoying, but in fact, it is not good. In fact, we all know that only in a community, human being is more happy than being alone. Being alone is a, is a shiksha, it's a punishment, it's a gain. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> so, uh, the <clears throat> next thing is, the new education system in India is therefore now 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. And uh, the a major change from the previous education system in India, which was 10 plus 2. In the new system, students will spend more time in school overall, but the number of years spent in each day of education will be reduced. And the earliest to foundation stage will comprise of the child's schooling. In the first three, three years of education, children will be taught in Anganwari, Balwatika, or community based nurseries. The other two years of schooling include multi level play activity based learning during which they will develop the basic skills and knowledge required by them. If you have any idea about Montessori schools, they used to run schools like this. Learning is not by just your words. Learning is by looking at it, a so many visual pictures, and wearing some, you know, in the place of addition, addition and uh, Subtraction, multiplication, all that is by tools. They have two, two or three things put to that they will account less on. So physical activity, involvement in the physical activity, along with learning, will be the best thing. So that is what is going to, you know, implement that now. So next, sir, the we have got the middle stage. It is the three years of middle stage, years 11 to 14. In the middle stage, students will be expected to develop four academic skills such as reading. In fact, some of us don't know you is powerful reading. We have not, not had any exercise of reading in the class. Have we asked anybody to read the uh, first paragraph? One fellow will read the first paragraph, then he will explain, then another fellow will read the second paragraph. So that way in the class, if reading is made as a necessity, then only reading will be there with the capable of reading. We are not doing that. And also writing, writing notes is one. So writing is not uh, being implemented. And basic language competencies are also done. In fact, my, my, uh, you know, my education system used to have uh, debates, debates. Every school, every college used to have debates once in a week. And in the debate, as many people as possible will be forced to participate. Then only if you, only if you make attempt, you will be in a position to speak well. If you don't make an attempt, be the kind of fear, what can be done? If you are having no, even, suppose you don't have any capability, still attempt one, two, three, four times. The more you attempt, the more you become perfect. So the, uh, the push, push is not there in this class. And uh, only who is coming forward will be allowed to do all these things. Not like that now. Even the back side sitting below also should be pushed so that he will be the right and Learn the basic language of British competition. They will also be expected to develop life skills such as teamwork, 
This also we don't make them learn. He was the two to three people together. So it is minimum two people. That's a family, wife and husband. The team work is also not uh, going on well now. The, the women they marry now, after six months or one year, you will see them separated, take and divorce. So, the, I always should say, um, incapability to live with the others, adjust, adjust, no adjusting, adjustment of the women. All uh, heart, temperament, ego, high ego, with no capability, but high ego. And uh, so called uh, identity crisis, all this is you know, bought by Western uh, you know, interaction. But Western is gone to God now, you know very well. Because of the uh, particularly Ukraine war, Russia war, the US is gone to God. Not only that, I am telling you, unless and until you take care of your mental makeup, until and unless you enjoy reading, writing, and speaking, don't be alone, that's what I am saying. Don't be alone. Fix up with others. Tolerate. Learn tolerance. Learn uh, uh, patience. Patience is not there now. Impatience is high. That should be somehow gone down. By our, uh, uh, you know, see, love and affection is not, not, not uh, visible. It's all drama. If at all any love and affection is there, temporary drama. Not real. The commitment system is gone. Ethics and morals are gone. We have to be brought down to some extent at least. You know, otherwise, there is no future for this uh, uh, human, human uh, system. So, life skills, so far, life skills. Yes, life skills now. Few uh, problem solving and critical thinking. Critical thinking comes only with cancer and telling you. Please don't think that. Only fellow is in tension, he is, uh, oh, he is getting deep, he is that heart attack, nothing like that. One more thing I should tell you, the so-called heart attack, cholesterol, all the cells, so-called nonsense told by scientists, is all proven to be wrong. The same fellow who told cholesterol is uh, there, don't uh, eat uh, um, ghee, these things alone. Ultimately, they, after 30 years, they come out with a report showing that now there are two types of cholesterol. One is uh, good, another is bad, and good cholesterol contains this uh, B, uh, this butter, and also on shameless fellows. Science, so called scientists, but shameless. Don't think that I am making a commandment. Many things are actually bad. Antibiotic. Antibiotic is a negative. And we all had lot of times, every time anything comes, cough, so cough or cold or fever, immediately we put an antibiotic, uh, three antibiotics, not even one. Antibiotic, once it becomes normal to you, it won't work. The body becomes immune to that. That's the reason why today, the, in the US, in the US, antibiotic is bad. And the same Reputedly, your boy can heal itself. God is there in every atom of your boy. Your boy can heal itself. Until 20 days, don't come to us. No antibiotic will be given because side effects are high. So, why this is happening is mad belief in science, mad belief in uh, all the things. The modern, modern, the so called modern has spoiled the entire life, mental makeup. And we are in tension only because we, are, we eat a lot, a lot of nonsense. Mostly all the food that we eat, like butter, the butter, and butter and so on. Very bad. We know that unless there is a chewing, unless there is a, you know, fiber inside the their food, your feeding system will not give something. Both the prey, the chata prey will be chata prey will be like and they will work only with a jar. The jar is nothing but fiber. How long it took for us to understand that? Even though our whole systems of food eating, traditionally which is there, we threw it out, thinking that all oh, the old, old. So, God gives us to do. Those people who are so called modern, please try to understand 
that we spoil our life, our health, and also education. Nobody can feel the thing unless we mentally change that somewhere to good habits, good thinking, and good way of reading the life. Now, if we just say, therefore, reading, writing, and uh, the discussion, government is a discussion. Okay, this is the last one, which is the secondary stage, which we call it as a TV, BSC, or BG, four years. So, this four years now, nearly will be five years next year onwards. These are always announced that it is implemented. Because four years already is there, nearly. Four years plus one more year to make you introduce it to so called investigation and assign to try something new and uh, also a part of training permissions. This is a secondary stage of four years, will be from age 14 to 18, and during this stage, students will be expected to complete four curriculum consisting of English, mathematics, science, and social studies. In addition, they will have the opportunity to choose from a range of electives, including languages, arts, and vocational subjects. Here I would like to tell you that uh, during the four years of say, secondary stage learning, no stream free in there. There is not like the electrical engineering, no electrical engineering separate. There is nothing like computer science separate, mechanical engineering separate, civil engineering separate. There is nothing like that. Because all these four years, there will be some credits which you will have to earn by passing exams. And all exams are online exams. The moment you write the exam, a year, year, month, or whatever it is, all will be object of the school. And at the end of the next the writing, three years are over. Immediately in five minutes, you get the marks. That's all, final marks. No marks, no, no permit of manipulating with your task or something. So, all the stuff that is being collected here today, needs to be clean to come up with a new education policy. One more thing I would like to tell you here, until, until is an intermediate thing between your engineering degree and after master's also, MP is removed. There is no MP. It is only to fill the gap, they have put the MP in us. So that is removed now. And so, engineering Anywhere in the four years, let us say, after two years, you know, third year you want to drop out, no problem, they will give a diploma in that particular uh, stream. There is nothing like stream now, but whatever subject you have taken, you will get a diploma. So after two years, then after third year, fourth year, then you will generally you will get the diploma. So like that, you will earn some certificate at every stage, and you will drop out any time, during this education. Anywhere, anytime, if you don't want to do uh, some problems, you have to do some job, you have to take care of something, you can drop out and you get marks until that time. For some degree, something that will be given, in which you can draw back into the stream of education. So, you have an opportunity to choose from a range of directions, nothing like art. You may be having all subjects more, all science subjects more, all in a combination. All are, all are to be accepted. What happened is, all their languages and vocal subjects are gone to God because of the too much of importance given to so called science and math. Is it not true? Science and math, science and math, science and math. No one is interested in arts, no one is interested in language. And mathematics is a difficult thing, and yet no more solution is at all. So, you will be focusing only on so called science subjects, and then for the day do some good job and all. What happened ultimately is a thing for that. So, the secondary stage aims to provide students with the skills and knowledge they need to prepare for further education or enter the workforce. So a lot of flexibilities are mainly important thing that you have to understand. The choice of electives also. They may have the opportunity.
होते तो झूठ हो गए
Yes, a lot for your places. All of you, I think I have given a, a personal view of the view of the And uh, if any questions are there, you can ask me or you can write to me and email you know, address is there, no problem. You can uh, drop a email. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Whenever I have a email opportunity to communicate with all of you, share my Thanks a lot. Sir, please be online uh, for uh, one or two minutes. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, all of you, please, uh, participants and uh, uh, organizing committee members and uh, session to uh, resource person, uh, please switch on your camera so that we'll have a screenshot. Sir, uh, I take this opportunity with uh, whole heartedly. Uh, thank you very much, sir, on behalf of the Department of Tripoli, MES Engineering College, that's Mathuri Wonderful for Engineering College. And uh, AACT Training and Learning Academy is sponsored faculty development program on simulation of electrical and electronic engineering systems uh, 2022. So we wholeheartedly thank you, sir, uh, for our uh, elaborate or conducive talk on uh, uh, National Education Policy 2020 uh, and also sparing your valuable time, though it is hard time for you mostly. Uh, but uh, you came forward and uh, associated with us. So thank you, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All of you, Namaskar. So, faculty members, please take the uh, three shots and carry it in the group. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thomas Rowe, sir. Uh, we'll move on to session two. We'll move on to session two, sir. Uh, so, to find the uh, free time or if, if it is convenient for you, please stay back. Otherwise, no problem. Uh, I, I, yes, yeah. yeah, I, I need to go and eat my food. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Thank okay, you. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, please uh, switch up the camera so that we will move on yeah, to session two. Otherwise, you can leave, sir. Go to Telegram channel and leave. Go to Telegram yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gajanana, sir, uh, you uh, please open our PPT window, then come back to Telegram channel and share the screen. Screen of uh, the PPT window. Sir, am I audible? Gajanam, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, go to view button. View button is PPT window. Gajanam, sir. Go to PPT window and the view button. Click the view button and uh, uh, this one like reading view. Click the reading view, sir. Uh, fourth one from left side. Fourth one. Yes, sir. We are getting full window. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, uh, uh, one minute, sir. Uh, so I take this opportunity to introduce you. Am I audible, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, actually, I am testing the Gajanama, sir. Gajanama, sir. Am I audible? You are not audible. I think you are on mute or? Uh, let me mute all the participants first so that uh, we can have clear uh, voice. Uh, Gajarav sir, uh, your voice is not coming. Please, uh, your audio is it clear? 
we are not getting your audio. Sir, please test your voice. Gajaralu, sir. No, sir, we are not getting. I think you are uh, trying with your mic. You are on mute, sir. You are on mute. Please unmute and talk, sir. Your mic symbol is mute. No, sir, we are not getting. Your mic is on, but we are not getting your audio. Where no, sir, you are you getting? No, sir, no. No. Tell sir, we are not getting your audio. I think your mic problem. Sir, I think in only of mic, sir, directly you can speak. Uh, yes, sir, uh, please remove the mic and uh, uh, you can use the system mic and system speaker. Hello? 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 Now we are getting sir. Uh, yeah. Yes. Welcome sir. Welcome sir. Let me take one minute sir to introduce you to the uh, for the benefit of participants. Am I clear sir? Uh, am I audible? Yes sir. Yes sir. Sir, oh. sharing the screen. Oh. Hey, you are uh, already your screen is sharing. Your screen is sharing. Fine. Yes sir. Yes okay. sir. Yeah. Okay sir. So, uh, So, on behalf of Department of Tripoli and uh, participants of Patel FPP, SPS, uh, organizing committee members, so uh, welcome you, sir, uh, Professor uh, Dr. S. Gajanana, uh, who is uh, working with us as uh, Professor and uh, Dean Examinations and far as that vast experience, uh, almost 30 years, almost 25 years of teaching experience, industry experience uh, combined. Uh, and uh, uh, coming to his um, uh, qualifications, we take in 1995 from SK University Arantapur and master's degree in mechanical engineering, specialized in uh, production technology from Karnataka University in 1999, Tarwar. Then the PhD from SC University, prestigious, very good old uh, university, present at the University of in the year 2007. And uh, so uh, currently is guiding eight PhDs and uh, uh, before that prior to this guiding, so four got awarded under his uh, supervision and published more than 75 research papers in various international and national journals and uh, conferences of both the international and national level. So he also completed one research project, uh, the grant of group is 5 lakh, sponsored by UGC in New Delhi, uh, received 5.2 lakh rupees uh, from ACT under Madhrav scheme. Received uh, two rupees two lakhs uh, ACT seminar grants to conduct national conference on uh, national conference on innovative trends in mechanical and automobile engineering for the year uh, 2014 15. And he also editor and reviewer for many national and international journals. Served as head the Department of Mechanical Engineering and director to end up at the MESR Engineering College. Delivered invited lectures in national level of PPs, attended. Uh, different conferences and workshops uh, uh, are by different uh, institutions. So, so he is uh, apart from these credentials, so he is a fellow of Institution of Engineers FIE and life member of uh, IFTE, senior member of Indian Institute of Energy and Engineering, uh, member of Enterprise Association of Engineers, fellow of Indian Society of Mechanical Engineers, fellow of Society of Society of Innovative Education System Science Research Professional. So he was awarded with the Distinguished Mechanic Engineering Professional uh, from the Society of Innovative Educational and Scientific Research Professional Chennai 
where he belongs to the society. So in this uh, uh, brief introduction, uh, now uh, let's all, uh, uh, with all our uh, uh, participation, let's all invite our uh, Professor Dejaravadar to uh, take this session on uh, research methodology. Sir, please, sir. Uh, thank you, Ramana. Uh, my, my voice is clear. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. 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 Uh, any participants who are pursuing the paper can say yes. Yes, sir. Hello? Hello? Uh, I think our faculty and also other faculty are also there. Yes, industry people are there. They may be pursuing PhDs. This research methodology actually, it is one formula how to complete your research work or PhD work. In that orientation, I have just given some sort of uh, a light on to this uh, research methodology. Uh, sir, you can unmute the other participants. Mute the, mute the participants, let me start it. So, this research methodology, actually it is a generalized version uh, for all the fields. So, we are the engineers. Coming to the engineering, our approach for continuing the PhD or research is different. For non-engineering people, scientists people, that's their approach is uh, different. Their collection of data, their formulation, their objectives, their methods are different. The procedures are different. This is the topic of research methodology. It just covers a skeleton that has to be adopted in order to prepare your total body. I am going to discuss here what are the various modules uh, that constitute the research methodology and the procedures, different procedures that have been suggested in containing the thesis or research. And afterwards, I would like to share my experience. By doing the PhD is different and guiding the PhD, producing the PhD is uh, a very uh, different approach that you need to follow. It is just like uh, uh, making a Raja Mowgli's movie like a triple R movie type. Okay. Research. There are two words, letters up there. One is RE plus and uh, ACA or such. Many times when you start, when you have registered your PhD, enrolled in PhD or any university, once you meet your guy, and your mind will be very blank. I think most of the questions which are shown on the screen, you might have experienced at least a few. How to proceed, what to do, where to start. I got stuck, but you do uh, some work which is suggested by your guide suggested. You collect the data, you collect the paper, uh, find the topic which is burning currently. So all these things will be tasks will be given to you and uh, you will be facing lots of uh, confusion in initial stage. Then the research starts. So the confusion from the mind has to be cleared one by one. Research repeatedly you do or you investigate, you find out something which is required. So that process, research can be taken as a word of Repeating the procedures and searching for the new things. And if the new thing is you something is useful, collect it, keep it on that. Again, do the search until your bag is full and the sufficient information is available with you to travel in your work. Till that, you need to continue that research. Right? Many scientists, many researchers, many uh, professors, they have uh, given the different versions or definitions of the research. A familiar, very familiar person, 
you know, like Einstein, he has defined research as imagination is the highest form of research. Means you have to think in a while, while you have to think out of box. Thinking is always required in order to pursue your research, whether it is going to be successful or it is going to be failure. That is a different ball game. Only thing is you need to think of it in a different and a out of box approach. Narosi is one of the scientist or research person professor. He has given the statement for the research. It is to see what everybody has seen and think what nobody has thought. This is a very very useful sentence that you have to keep in all always in mind. See, observations are made by many people, but interpretation of observation, which is not common, which is hidden, if you can find that. Your research will be completed. Research again. There is one more definition that we can popularly we can see that a careful investigation of new facts. Why do you want to continue the research? If already existing is there, we want to pursue. Is there any new thing is available? What is the purpose of it? Whether you can enrich your knowledge or you can do some sort of useful work to the society or for the Domain that has got you selected, like an electrical field in the electrical branch. If you investigate something new, you can add the knowledge in the field of the electrical branch. And uh, there are reasons are there why you need to pursue the research. Subsequently, for a faculty, it is necessary for you to get a degree. That is one reason, basically, for the faculty. And uh, some of unsolved problems are there in day-to-day -day life or in the field of. Uh, Uh, engineering or domain which you are working, and to solve the problem, you need to go for searching a uh, new solution and uh, better solutions. For that is one reason. And uh, sometimes the people get joy and knowledge when you are doing some a uh, creative and innovative work. Out of your work, the output may be useful for the society. It uh, fulfills the needs for the society, and by doing the innovative and research, what you get. The respect in the faculty or in the domain that you are working. Sometimes there may be direction from the from the uh, government and also the employment conditions. Uh, you need to pursue certain tasks which are uh, problems that are to be solved, like competency or uh, suppose recently we have faced a pandemic that is a corona COVID-19. And because of the COVID, in order to uh, overcome that uh, part of the situation, many laboratories uh, they investigate, they invest a lot of money and also investigated to find out anti dose, anti dose for that uh, COVID. And uh, existing methods, if you are not fulfilling or yielding better one, go for the new methods. And there is a requirement for your job. Sometimes you need to go for a patenting or publication. These few reasons. Uh, that we can uh, quote. If you take the overall uh, framework of this uh, research, starts with the purpose, means the objectives, the why you need to select this domain, and what we can do in that domain. What are the things that you have to achieve, or conditions that is necessary for supporting your work. And what is the data that has to be collected? What type of data that has to be taken, and where you can collect the data? What sort of procedures that you can adopt to interpret the data and validate the data by doing analysis? After that, you must have arrived at results, defend your results, and also analyze your results. Out of that analysis, you give some sort of conclusions. These conclusions are the entire procedure that we have adopted. Right from framing the objectives till conclusion, we can form it in the write-up or documentation, which is called as a report. So this uh, research or uh, research program involves this all the modules uh, can be put in the uh, framework, conceptual framework. This uh, generalized uh, conceptual framework which can be applied to any field, engineering or non-engineering or management or even. Uh, Medicine.
some of the characteristics of uh, research control the control feature is one. What is the control is when you have selected a domain or topic. In that topic, your observations may be there. Some observations are controllable and some observations are not controllable. So you need to identify most of the observations which can have a control. You can have a control over that. Can you run that of control is possible? But suppose if you select the power electronics, in the power electronics, probably one of those factors which you can change the values and the desired values you can put there. That is called the control. If you do, if you are not able to put that data value there, it is me. It means that parameter is uncontrollable. And next, uh, rigorous type. One second type is rigorous. The procedure that you are adopted, it should be justified, analytically, logically, scientifically justified procedure that has to be adopted. Systematic means have these procedures that you have adopted. It should have a logical sequence. So one sequence of steps have to be followed. First step, then it is followed by the second, third, fourth, like that. You can't just uh, whatever the steps you want, that should not happen. Valid and verifiable. Whatever the findings you have observed, that has to be validation. Validation means you should prove that those outcomes are correct under certain conditions that you have imagined or framed. Under the conditions which can be called as a hypothesis, under hypothesis or under assumptions that you have framed, those findings work well. That is called the validation or verifiable. Empirical is one more hypothesis which we call as a proper evidence with a real life observation from experience. So you need to take a data, not the what you have assumed, but it has to be taken from the Availability of in the real time, real time like you by conduct the experiment or collect from the feedback from the uh, like people or domain or zone depends upon the field of research. And the next one is the critical logical and pool proofing investigation should be carried out. The procedure that you have adopted, the logical sequence that you have adopted should not have any sort of deviations. These are some of the characteristics of the research which are required. Coming to this uh, application of the research, they are based upon the intent and based upon the natural data and based on the method of study. I would like to add, this is what is available from the literature. Classification of research is collected from the literature. And I would like to add, out of my experience, uh, two more things as a academic type of research and second one is the industry type of research. What is academic type of research is the research which is carried out is independent of the outcome that is going to be expected. Suppose in the field of health engineering, I take one subtopic and started doing research. When I am investigating, I may be traveling in the different routes. When I travel in the different routes, I find different type of results. All the results may not coincide, but for every result I should give the valid reason for that. So that is that type of approach is called the type of approach. It means outcome is not concurrent or it will not end with the result what is required to some purpose. Whereas the results will be valid and also justifiable. Coming to the industry type of research, what I say is, you, you have to pick up the outcome or the final output that is going to happen and to achieve that output, you need to do the iterations, uh, changes in the procedure, changes in the uh, formulation, fashion of the data, all these things have to be changed and do or uh, explore till you get the required precision to the output. That comes under the industry type or Sometimes it is nearer to the consulting what you can do. Apart from it, a broad classification that I have given that uh, academic and also the industry. Coming to the generalized classification, based upon the important observations, like a pure research. So pure research is basically a development of the theories, different theories. 
about the lot of research, the lot of research that I have carried in the field of the algebra, or in the field of the trigonometry, or in the field of uh, uh, Laplace or something like that. In the different mathematics, different formulas have been evolved. Ramanujan has done a lot of research in the mathematics. Those type of uh, research can be carried out as just a pure research. And applied research means whatever the theories have been developed, those have to be tested in the real time problems. And uh, to test the real time problem, the procedure that you have adopted and the results which come, you should justify the results. That type of research is called the applied research. The descriptive type of research is based upon the facts and the state of affairs, whatever the uh, current trend is going on in that particular field, that observations have to be taken, a survey has to be conducted, and uh, articles have to be framed, and investigation has to be carried out till you achieve some sort of conclusions and results. Exploratory results is a hypothesis development. You assume something, and uh, to defend your assumption, certain Procedures may be adopted and development may be carried out to the hypothesis. Hypothesis, when you test it by taking the data that comes under the parallel set of research, diagnostic type of research, scientific differentiation among the various conditions, phenomena, and uh, purpose of action, which means that different uh, observations or different procedures when you adopt, different type of results you get it. So, at what conditions? If you do the type of test 1, you get one result. If you do the test with different type of test 2, you get a different type of results. So for the different results that you obtain by doing conducting a different type of test, you need to investigate and give the valid reason for that. That is called a diagnostic type of research. Conceptual research is for developing the new theories and we are sometimes there's already existing theories are there. You give the new interpretation for the term, existing theories. Action research is at uh, one place, particular place, uh, you need to reframe, uh, reframe the existing procedures, uh, developed theories, or uh, developed process, continue the investigation. The type of research is called as a action type of uh, research. Among all this research, how this can be taken as a qualitative. If qualitative means all the findings can be verbally defined, whereas in a, a quantitative means all the findings can be numerically defined. That is the difference between the numerical and also verbal. Qualitative and also quantitative. To carry out this, uh, we adopt the different methods like analytical method, empirical method, formulation, survey, case studies. See, out of these, uh, most of this uh, engineering. Engineering type of research is carried out by empirical research or by doing this uh, field investigation or, uh, or some type of experimental type of investigation. The survey research means conduct your formulation or whatever objectives. These objectives require the opinion of a group of people. This type of survey generally happens for the social or management type of research fields. Finally, if you look at this library research, where uh, data for investigation and analysis can be taken from the literature that is available, you develop one model. To test the model, validity of the model, you collect the data from the previous literature books or uh, journal papers, those data can be collected and incorporate those data to the existing developer model, find out the validation of that model. This is called a library type of research. Now, how this criteria for selection of the problem? So far, what type of research you have seen? And after that, the selection of the research model. So, what, how do you select the research problem? So, generally, so selection of the research problem depends upon many factors that I will just discuss about uh, the selection of the criteria, what is the uh, blueprint for selection of criteria, but this is a generalized method or generalized points which cover and under the uh, selection of this research problem. The subjects which uh, are overdone, suppose already some 
in the field, particular field, a lot of work has been carried out. You need to just see that subject or area. If any work has been left over, if you find some scope is there in the left over, work is there. Identify that and continue in that area. So there are some topics are there which are in controversial in nature. You can choose uh, such type of topics and uh, do the research. And while selecting the research problem, you need to uh, sometimes go for a very narrow area. What is the advantage in going for the narrow area is there is a lot of scope, whatever the investigations you carry out, this can be a chances that it may be approved. If lot of literature is there, you have to defend all the previous literature and what is extra thing that you have done. That will be a difficulty if a wide area has been collected. If narrow has the area has been collected, your findings may be a base for the next coming research. Next coming to the selection for the study, resources available, uh, probably that uh, 15, 20 years back when in no internet was there. Or uh, we used to get the literature going to the library and other publications. But now, with a single click, we can get the lot of journal papers or the research which is free, research is available in throughout the world. And the selection of problems uh, required due to consideration of time, sometimes uh, timing, or uh, suppose this particular problem comes to the application type or industry oriented type of problem. When uh, the time constraint is there and also the cost constraint is there, you need to filter the research area. And no research should be selected without having any primary study of the subject. You can't just start uh, your new topic. New topic in this means there is no base for this. Without foundation, you can't build the apartments. Like that, you should have a proper foundation. Then only you can go for the next slabs for your research work. Uh, classification of the research design. Research design means uh, we can say that it is a plan that has to be executed in a phase one. We can define the research design as it is a plan in a phase one that can be executable in the investigations. So in the classification, uh, sampling design with respect to the selection of the item. Means suppose if it is a for our, for our engineering work, engineering type of research, sampling in the sense I can say that what are the controllable uh, parameters are there in the, in, my, in the field that I have selected, what are the uncontrollable parameters are there, uh, how can I, how can this controllable parameters can collect the data from that. Uh, and second one is the observational design means. So by looking at that, uh, survey or by looking at that observation, uh, you can carry out a plan, you can plan your investigation. Statistical means the data which is collected is further has to be analyzed by uh, taking some sort of uh, mathematical or uh, statistical type of approaches. Operational in the sense, when experimental type of uh, techniques have to be adopted for the, a plan for investigation, then the operational design type of uh, research will come. The so same thing just like exploratory because the hypothetical testing. So, something in sample design is uh, that the variables that you have to select and uh, the controllable type and uh, non-controllable type, how can you take this uh, data for the variables, how can you generate the uh, experimentation data for the variables that you have selected, can be given in the stage wise. The first uh, stage is it is a type of universe. Type of universe means all the variables that are present for the field that you have selected. Okay, out of that only few variables that you may be selecting. So that comes in as a sample universe. And out of that, uh, which, what type of factors of the samples are variables that you are required for observation. And after that, uh, is there any experimentation, suppose you want to carry out that experiment, then any facility funding is required, the facility has to be created, that is also one uh, constraint. And after uh, taking the facility, when you conduct the experiment, uh, what are the techniques that have to be adopted in collection of the values for the variables? 
this comes under the chapel type of uh, design. So, uh, coming to this uh, methods, uh, methods, various methods for uh, uh, data collection. So primarily, it can be uh, methods can be classified as the primary data and the type of data. And as the primary data, observations, interviews, surveys uh, through questionnaires, uh, they come to this. So, I tell you again, this research methodology, what I am building, is, is a generalized type, not exclusively for engineering or exclusively for sciences. It is a generalized type. That, that's why the terminology may not be much relevant for engineering research that we are carrying out. Suppose look at this uh, uh, survey type, interview, survey types. Uh, most of the time, so engineering research will not carry out this type of approach, the survey type of interview type. Coming to this observations, what is the observation data collection, what it includes? Under this structured observation, passive observation, disguised method and controlled observation. Structured observations uh, in which an event, a series of events can be observed by recorded by an independent research. Means he uh, goes to that uh, some people, they, he collects the opinion of the people and in a, in a very planned way, whatever the sequence, topic 1, topic 2, question 1, question 2, like that, in a systematic manner, he collects the data from the people. Second one is participatory observation means where a group of people will be uh, allowed to work and uh, their behavior, their activities may be observed and the data will be collected. Disguise observation means in this technique, the samples or the people who are taken for the investigation or for data collection may not be knowing that they have been observed. Another of uh, the other means uh, this is nothing but without their observation, without the knowledge we are collecting the data. So the generality of the data will be more. Controlled observation is researchers, uh, they make the required environment, the required specific environment. In that specific environment, they collect the data. This comes under the observations. And, uh, now, some types of data can be collected by personal opinions. You interact with the people and take the information from them. Focus means exclusively the people will be subjected to certain conditions, certain environment, experimental conditions, and from that their behavior observations are taken. Clinical means under different conditions, the people will be interacted and the data will be collected. So number it means the questionnaire is not a pre-planned questionnaire. Means randomly you can ask the questions and collect the data, yes or no type of data. So how many years you got, how many more years you got, then the, the numerical value, means a, a qualitative statement of yes or no can be converted into the numerical value like it is yes what, it is no zero, like that, numerical way you can convert and collect the how many sample samples, whether it is a thousand or two thousand, three thousand, depends upon your volume of research that you want to expand. Still phone if I can say the other people should be, the no personal interaction only over a telephone, you can collect Randomized questions may be asked and the data will be connected. Level of measurement and scaling means, suppose when you are uh, collecting the data, what is the precision of the data that is required? Suppose my observation, suppose I want to contain the, I want to take the temperature, temperature of a specific item or a body. But uh, at what precision of the data I have to take? Only degree level or meta degree level or 10 degree level? what the precision level I need to take. For that precision level, my measurement system should be developed. That is very important in the research. See, this processing of the data, once the data is collected, uh, validity of the data has to be chosen. How can you see that validity of the data? You can just plot a graph. Generally, when you conduct an experiment in a laboratory, we need, we will generally plot a graph. What is the purpose of the glass means we need to observe the behavior of the data that you have been collected. So, for a particular experiment, you may be expecting that a particular behavior trend has to be applied through graphic. But certain values are deviating from that. Similarly, when you have collected the data, what are the values that are deviating? 
So deviated values again they can be selected or they can be eliminated depends upon your uh, the investigation requirement. Here hypothesis is generally uh, the assumptions that are required that you need to make. So what assumptions when you make your uh, defining results and conclusions may be very very effective. See sometimes when you have made, made objectives. See there are three things that you have to call, make it in a concurrence. One is your article when you have framed. Those objectives have to be fulfilled with the results and conclusions that you have drawn. If the results are not meeting with the objectives that you have framed, then means uh, there is a deviation in your approach. Where the deviation goes? To control the deviation, a proper assumption or hypothesis has to be made. Especially when uh, engineering type of uh, research has been carried out, when you collect the data, uh, like suppose we, develop a, we take the input parameters and output parameters and we develop a correlation between the input parameter and output parameter by means of the regression equation. Regression equation, it may be a linear type or non-linear type depending upon your uh, the input data behavior. So, if the input data behavior is in a linear fashion, then you will get a linear regression equation. Uh, there are after getting the regression equation, there is one scope that you need to identify out of all uh, parameters. Suppose, let me take one, two output parameters are there and five input parameters are there. So, when you develop the relation, uh, regression equation, linear form, input data or output, sometimes a individual parameter can affect high. Sometimes a combination parameter can affect high. So, the best example I would like to give. When you prepare a cup of tea, when you add milk, the taste of the tea is different. When you don't add milk, the taste of the tea is different. When you add sugar, the combination of sugar, a milk and tea powder, it gives a different taste. If you don't add the sugar, the taste is different. Like that, individual parameter along with the combinational parameter, the effect will give differently. So, that effect analysis that you have to carry it out. So, what the purpose of doing this effect analysis is when you know which parameters influence more, you can control the values of the parameter so that the desired output can be obtained. So, one of those uh, methods for uh, Controlling and uh, looking at that, what is the effect of input and output, a combination of parameters on the uh, output is our analysis of variance. Here you can see uh, the sum of uh, individual factors and parameters will be taken. What is their effect on the output individually and the combination of our effect? And what is the percentage contribution on that uh, individual and also the a combinational parameters? can be observed by means of analysis of variance. Now this is after doing the analysis and regression after once you find the results or conclude the results, uh, then the documentation uh, starts. This documentation generally it starts your cover page where the, the title will be published and uh, your name, your research, uh, your supervisor's name after that. Uh, the acknowledgement of shared table of content, the list of tables, all this comes to this. This is known a syntax for a writing the report. Sorry. Hello, sir? Hello? Ramara, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Sir, can you? Yeah, uh, five. Five or ten more minutes, I would like to complete okay. so that you okay. can complete it. Okay, okay. Because your schedule time is 8.50. It's yes, already sir. 9 o'clock. So five more minutes, yeah. I would like to just. Yes, Before sir. that, for yes. one minute, I would like to interrupt the participants. Sir. Can you unmute the participants? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Now itself, I will unmute one by one. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir, I am unmuting. You can ask, sir. No. Uh, dear participants, 
whatever i have just discussed uh, it is a just a different modules which covers under the research this is a generalized type but the way that now i am going to express that is a peer wise approach to the research it is the experience of the supervisor who has produced couple of phd that is my experience uh, which i would like to share with you uh, so far any questions any queries about it you know right so i'll take it out this is very useful for the people who are pursuing currently the phd if any participant wants to interact he can unmute and interact now you are allowed to speak now now i am going to give the blueprint uh, for the student research student what is the way that you have to approach so that your work will be completed within stipulated time i am just giving a boundary i am framing the boundary with i am giving the blueprint that is very important as a supervisor the duty of the supervisor is to frame the boundary and give the blueprint to the student so that he can continue his research otherwise it is just like a traveling in a amazon forest without knowing the route any queries please i will continue otherwise okay right sir let me continue okay okay yeah uh see this uh approach that i would like to tell you is it is approach that are followed and successfully they are completed the package this first of all we the total phd work whatever you want to do has to make it into the different phases these phases have to be uh, you have to put the boundary for that how can you how can you make that how can you make the phase of it let me explain my field that mechanical engineering which i have carried out you know Uh, different type of uh, areas so mechanical broad i can uh, classify suppose in the phase one first of all the domain area is mechanical engineering in that mechanical engineering specialization areas which are available under the macro level like emtec level what you have to like uh, industrial engineering design engineering and also the thermal engineering production engineering my specialization under production engineering so that i have selected the production engineering Again, in the production engineering, that the subdomain specialization has to be taken. So, suppose my, I am very strong in particular area. Let me take this casting, welding, metal forming area. Main subdomain area four, three, one, two, three, four. Four areas I have given. Out of those areas, uh, if I am very strong, my fundamentals are very strong, and I have very good knowledge in particular area. Like suppose if I selected the modern machining area. Why I have selected the modern machining area is uh, few reasons. Or one reason is uh, I am good at that particular area, and second thing is that area is a lo- having a lot of scope, lot of uh, limit work is going to continue in that, and the literature that is available in that is known to me, and also there is a scope extra that can be done in that particular area. so sub area first of all you have to select the uh, macro level divide it into sub areas in the sub area again you have to select in the uh, micro level area in that micro level area modern machining i have selected in that modern machining first i need to find out so any innovative or any investigation can be ratified by publishing in the journal or conference so we need to click the button to blow the bulb so you want to blow the bulb put on the bulb put on the light you need to click that button particular the switch so the switch is you explore the various journals which are available nowadays it is very easy for us uh, even you can access uh, the library different university library or different you may not have the paper at least with the titles and the abstract of that particular topic can be obtained because you can download it so first you select the micro level area in that micro level area 
you find out the list of journals. Again, from the list of journals, you shortlist again sub micro level topics. From that sub micro level topic, you choose few journals only. Take the volumes, the latest to four years volumes, and uh, go through the various type of topics and uh, investigation that is carried out as a research. Out of that, you will get some clarity. By this time, you will get some clarity. You shortlist some of the titles. And under this shortlist, uh, title that you have shortlisted, you try to link a couple of titles if it is possible. Means one person has gone in the left way, another person has gone in the right way. There is a always in the scope that in between you can travel. So try to explore where the left out area is there in the micro level and try to identify those areas. And once you have selected that area or subtitle, under the subtitle, again you search for the literature in a broader way. How can you search that? Again, search the journal paper by giving a specific title or specific word. Specific word you do. You will find the latest papers. Two things you have to find. One is the latest journal papers you have to find in that area, what the work they have been carried out. And second one is, you need to find out the review papers in the particular title, under the title review papers. Review papers, it reveals you the previous reason, previous work that has been carried out. Next, the conference proceedings, uh, most of the times, if the journal publication has not been done, because journal publication may take a month or years also with the standard journal, conference proceedings, they will not take much time. So many publishers, many researchers, they may publish in the conference also. Try to explore the class, conference proceedings. And some book chapters in the other day. So the subtitles that you have selected, that uh, some under the subtitle, you have to search general papers, review papers, and conference proceedings, book chapters, and also you find the thesis which has been published. All the data must have collected. So it means the inverted triangle that you need to proceed. So you are going to reach the apex, the cornermost points. Once that cornermost point has been reached, now the supervisor role will come into picture. The supervisor role is he has to carry the super the research scholar to the phase two area. In that phase two area, you need to consolidate all the literature what you have carried out. From that literature, whatever the leftover things are, find out as a gap. These gaps when it's written and make it as a future scope and try to make it as some of the objects, broader objectives you try to frame. Once the broader objectives are there, again, try to refine it, club it, the broader objectives in the very two, three or three, four objectives which can be made. So once objectives are framed, then you need to plan the necessary facility what is required. Whether it is an experimental type or it is an analytical type or a modeling type where you can make use of this some of the mathematical techniques or statistical techniques. Depends upon your what type of investigation we will carry out. That comes under the second phase. Now coming to the third phase, when you have selected the experimental, then experimental facility you create and before that you, whenever you want to conduct the experimentation, Try to go for the interdisciplinary type of approach. Like suppose uh, like electrical people, they can go for some statistical type of data. And in that, they can go for the optimization type of data. Means this flavor when you add, it can control or it can you can avoid the uncontrollable parameters which are present there. And uh, investigation can be strengthened. Once uh, they carry out the experimentation, the unwanted data you remove, try to validate the data by developing the regression models or any other model, mathematical models, and in a linear form or nonlinear form, and by graphical representation or statistical representation, algorithm. Once the results are validated, again, so, uh, you, this results are again checked with the objectives that you have when this matching is there, how much deviation it comes. And one more thing, 
whatever the work that you have been carried out, whether it is genuine or not, acceptable or not, that justification can be carried out when you publish in a good uh, scoopers in that type of uh, journal. When you are your publishing, your publication is accepted in the journal, it means the work that you have carried out is valid. It's acceptable. This is the phase wise uh, the building for researcher and also for research and also a supervisor. This is my perception because when I have adopted this type of uh, blueprint, I am successful and I get more clear or more clarity uh, in framing of this my entire research design plan. So I would like to give you uh, two research uh, our project and such PhD thesis which have been successfully uh, completed. One is in the area of uh, industrial engineering which is a non-experimental type and a quantitative method. So in this quantitative method, the title is, uh, it is the study on microeconomic, macroeconomic variable, data replacement models using stochastic. What is this uh, application of this particular PhD is, suppose if we look at this set of cars out there, taxis, and you, you, you can see this, some cutting tools are there, ramps are there, and everything else are there. So, uh, this uh, topic is very useful. So, uh, many times when you are continuously using your vehicles, or continuously using your ramps, or you are using the, the uh, bulbs, or using the cutting tools, they get damaged, they get worn out. When they get worn out, the performance comes down. And the performance comes down, you need to go for the maintenance. So when the maintenance cost increases, it is not suggestible. So this topic, it helps you at what time you need to replace this button uh, so that you will, your maintenance or overall cost will cut down. It comes out. So this is topic 2. In the topic 2, I have added the macroeconomic variable that is like inflation. Suppose uh, I need to collect the data for 5 years or 10 years or 20 years. Well, Today, with the iPhone which I purchased today may not be same, the cost may not be same tomorrow or next year. So it means because of the changes, financial changes or it is some financial concepts like inflation, they affect the price of the product. So if you collect that uh, macroeconomic variable inflation, take it into account and uh, identify a model where it suggests you at what period, supply period, you need to change your uh, item. That is called as a replacement uh, particular period, replacement bar. And that inflation concept I have used, apart from it, I have used for the micro that is a, a group replacement model. Group replacement means when you purchase the item, you some, like RAMs, computer industry may purchase the, the software industry is there, which has some hundreds and thousands of computers. And yeah. it, it may, every year it may change the RAMs. Or suppose our college is there, our college is having almost know, 120 rooms and every room uh, 8, uh, 8 bulbs, so almost about 1000 bulbs we require. Okay, so today when I arrange the bulbs, it may go tomorrow. Sometimes it may better go. The only thing is, uh, at what if I purchase the single bulb, it comes around 100 rupees. So if I purchase in lump sum, the cost may come down. So I need to identify a model where yes, how much uh, bulbs I to purchase at what time I have to purchase so that my purchase cost and overall cost will come down. Like that in the industry also, mechanical industry, cutting tools when they are repeatedly used, they get worn off. So at what time the cutting tools have to be replaced? This has been, PhD has been carried out in this area, this is the application of it. And second uh, investigation in one of our faculty, Gira Yukuma, has been completed. In the area of marketing, this is a production or manufacturing type of problem. In that problem, actually, uh, you can see this, uh, some of these items, like spinning, means uh, especially for a, uh, aerospace industries or some mechanical automobile industries, uh, spinning operation components are useful. So we have selected here, uh, some different type of models are taken, like the profile. Suppose the strike profile also like an uh, inclined profile and also a conical type of uh, profile has been selected. And uh, a mathematical model means the parameters like uh, thickness of this, uh, the type of roller, speed, feed, 
these are some of the parameters input parameters and force is the output parameter and surface surface is the number output parameter we want to collect it what is the advantage of going for that you can put it at what uh, value of the parameters you get the better yield of it so that the uh, number of uh, failures of the components and also good components will be obtained better so here what thing is why do you, how can you link that in a different uh, experiments when we have carried out so linking can be done what i have thought is linking can be done by means of a profile that you have created the straight line profile inclined profile and also a conical type of hyperbolic type of profile so there is scope for the hyperbolic type of profile also there which are given and here you can see that different type of rural uh that we have selected and this work is pending for the patent we are expecting that patent the patent uh, is coming in this set of work and here we have used analysis by using the abacus sql analysis which gives a better idea of stresses or more uh, how the strains can be shaped can be done failure can be done uh, this also analyzed the analysis that we have carried out validation is also done this is the two uh, phd thesis i would like to show the difference that one is a completely analytical part and the second one is a experimental type of procedure uh, but for all the things whatever the phase type of approach that i have given that is very uh, useful as for my experience i have to say this some references uh, which has been adopted in covering this some of the topic thank you very much for giving this opportunity Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm done, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Couple of one, one or two minutes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I think you are all allowed uh, participants. Please uh, switch on your cameras. We know it is possible. Uh, Let's all take a screenshot of this alert session. Now, before going to have uh, the screenshot, uh, uh, sir, the general sir, you are there, I think. Uh, so, on behalf of our uh, department of Tripoli, yes, of our college and uh, other of DP SCS uh, 2022. So, uh, with immense pleasure, we extend our full thanks to you, sir, uh, for spending your valuable time and uh, spending your valuable time and sharing your expertise uh, and uh, research methodologies to our uh, for the benefit of our DP uh, participants. Sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity. It's a good interaction. Any questions, please? Last one, you would like to interact or any questions? Sir, uh, till somebody, Jagaram sir, will you stop sharing, sir? I think you are sharing your screen. Jagaram, uh, stop sharing. Okay. Yeah, 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 sir. I'll stop it, sir. Yeah, our faculty, please take some screenshots and share it in our group. Uh, my dear participants, uh, please uh, uh, very soon, uh, please submit our feedback form. Uh, all of you, all the attendees are requested to submit that. The feedback form on basics, uh, feedback on basics without fail, and also uh, because uh, as per the Apple uh, guidelines, Apple Apple Pay guidelines, uh, we need to answer or all the attendees or participants are need to answer MCQs. So shortly, I'll share it in the group. Uh, maybe a couple of uh, minutes, I'll share it. Almost twenty uh, questions will share MCQs. So please, uh, we'll we'll share it as in form of Google Google form. and then a google form will share it so please fill it and uh, come back uh, i think my camera is not on so that thank you
ஒருபடிஸ்ட் மெத்தடாலஜி பட் யூ ஹேட் what is your own experience and uh, given a framework as how to complete the research work very soon or very fast thank you thanks a lot